The European Space Agency has embarked on a first-of-its-kind mission, guiding its dead Aeolus wind satellite back to Earth. Why are they doing this, and what will the mission achieve? Watch this report. This is Aeolus, a satellite that is the size of a small car. It's a dead satellite that has made a fiery return to Earth, despite not being designed for a controlled re-entry. The unprecedented maneuver has been carried out by the European Space Agency in a bid to clean up the growing space debris that is circling Earth. Launched in 2018, Aeolus is the world's first satellite to measure the winds of Earth from space. But now, almost five years after its launch, it's running out of fuel. Under normal circumstances, small objects like meteors burn up when they hit the Earth's atmosphere. But debris like dead satellites left at higher altitudes can continue to circle the planet for hundreds or even thousands of years. To avoid this fate for Aeolus, European Space Agency used the spacecraft's remaining fuel to steer it back to Earth. The Space Agency says the attempt was part of its commitment to lessen the growing amount of space debris. Space junk is a growing problem. There are around 10,000 spacecraft currently in space, 2,000 of which are not functional. They can prove dangerous for other working satellites and spacecraft. One tiny collision could trigger a big chain reaction known as the Kessler effect. Access to space um, is a very big is 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 very big now. It's very open. There's a lot of constellations being being uh, launched and a lot of satellites up there. And if we don't act in this sustainable and responsible way, this is something that could get very quickly get out of control. So every agency, every um, industry, every company that, that has access to space should act responsibly. And this is what we're trying to do, to set an example, and not just with words, but with actions. In 2022, debris from a Chinese rocket allegedly collided with the moon, resulting in a 65-foot wide crater on the lunar surface. So far, humans have essentially been treating space as a junkyard. According to experts, the existing international laws on space debris have a big flaw. They don't address the problem of space debris. But there is an internationally recognized need to deal with the issue. The European Space Agency has claimed that from 2030 onwards, each satellite they develop will be debris neutral. This means the new satellites that they launch will clear the Earth's orbit once the mission is complete. It's a step in the right direction.